If you are a teacher or you want to make money by marketing to teachers on Etsy, there are so many ideas of what you could sell. If you sell physical products, does anything in your product line align well to a teacher appreciation gift or a teacher gift? One thing I noticed when looking at the keyword data in both E-Rank and the data tool ever be was that teacher gifts bulk was actually something that was very highly searched, but there wasn't as much competition. And that makes a lot of sense since people have multiple teachers for their kids. Or on the other end, where teachers are giving kids gifts, maybe on the first day of school or the last day of school, but they want to buy them in bulk. What I saw in terms of what those gifts were, I saw a lot of personalized pens. I saw tote bags that were personalized, little crochet items, as well as bracelets. And I know because of the whole Taylor Swift craze, people want those personalized beaded bracelets. And I saw ones that either had the teacher's name on it, or maybe they had first, second, or third grade. Those are just ideas of maybe ways that you could take what you already have and turn it into a bulk item. If you could attach multiple together in one listing and sell it as a teacher gift bulk. Now, in terms of teacher, when you are making your titles and when you're doing your tags or thinking about what type of products even to make in the first place, try to think beyond just the base word teacher. Specifically, is it a math teacher? Is it a science teacher? Is it a third grade teacher? Can you kind of niche down into those micro or sub niches so that you can get more visibility on your product with specific groups of people? Now, you're not going to be able to get 100 eyes on your product if you are doing a science teacher or third grade science teacher product, but there's going to be less competition. And when the buyer searches that phrase and comes upon your product, yours is going to be much more relevant to them than someone that just went after the generic teacher look or keyword. Don't forget about teachers for your kids or for kids sports or other extracurricular activities. I saw piano, karate, and dance teachers did not have as much competition on Etsy as some of the other teachers. So those are just ideas of what you could do. I personally have had success in the dance teacher niche. Also, accessories for items that teachers use a lot. So I saw a lot of cup kit char charms and little tags, lanyard badge tags, things that are accessories to other things that teachers have. Perhaps if you're already selling an accessory, you can just market that to teachers and that could work. Also, I noticed, particularly for those of you that sell print on demand or really any product, perhaps you could appeal to this group. We all know how much uh, we want to get bulk orders where people are buying five or six items at once. There was the concept of the specials teachers and they said, those in a school would be the librarian, the STEM teacher, uh, the mus musical theater teacher. There were a couple others that fit under the specials team. Well, some print-on-demand sellers were making t-shirts that were marketed specifically to those groups, and they all kind of matched. But then they said on the t-shirt what specialty the person taught, and then the person would buy those items at once. Anytime where you can get a bulk order and you can increase your average order size can help you make more money on Etsy and create cute things that your customers will want. Now, what I notice in the teacher space, particularly on the accessories like t-shirts and other things, is that now it's not enough to have the generic teacher word, like in my teacher error, you need to now subspecialize it, like I said before, into my second grade math teacher error or whatever. Well, now we need to even add the teacher's name as kind of like the third category. So anything that you could personalize with the teacher's specific name that would be probably a way to kind of get your product seen above all the other products on Etsy. Now, for people that are selling more in the printable space, I saw tons and tons of research that teachers are buying their printable activities, not just on Teachers Pay Teachers, they're buying them on Etsy too. So meet the teacher, teacher questionnaire, all about my teacher, teacher survey. Those were keywords that I found associated with the printable that teachers send out to their class at the beginning of the year, saying their likes and, and dislikes and things. I saw stuff for teachers' classroom, like banners and bulletin board decor. I saw hall passes, sub tickets. These are just ideas of digital products that help teachers at the beginning of the year get their classroom set up, get the students sorted. All of those sort of things were also popular on Etsy. I'm sure they're popular on Teachers Pay Teachers too. And then lastly, I say this a lot, but Anytime that you can apply a seasonal focus to what you're making, that can help you make even more money on Etsy. So teachers were looking for Halloween shirts. So I saw in my spooky teacher era, spooky math teacher era, those were the type of shirts that 
don't just appeal year round to teachers. They're specifically for teachers to help celebrate the holidays because teachers are like the rest of us where they love getting spooky with spooky season and Christmas holidays and all the other holidays, Valentine's Day, all the major holidays that we celebrate in the U.S. See if you could add some sort of seasonal element to what you're already making or what you plan to make that helps teachers either either gift for a teacher for that holiday or helps teachers celebrate and buy for themselves for that holiday. So that's it. Tons of opportunities in the teacher space. You don't have to be a teacher yourself. Come on in and sell teacher gifts on Etsy. I think that would be a great way to increase your sales this season.